Welcome once again to Stay Alive with Church Alive. And uh, Church Alive presents Ask Dr. Tommy O. And as you know, over the years, uh, Dr. Burkhead has been uh, your host uh, and also the president of Church Alive Development Corporation and the proud pastor of Church Alive Community Church. And we're here today at the world famous Skate Key, a place where families over 20 years have come to find recreation and enjoyment all in one. And so we're very fortunate to be coming live, and this is our Christmas program being presented to you by Dr. Tommy O. And Dr. Tommy O has become famous in, in providing quality information and medical services and how we are to, that will help us to become uh, as healthy as we possibly can. Dr. Tommy O, can't say welcome to Church Alive because this is your show, amen? <laughs> thank you. But I want to also thank Skate Key for making it possible for us to have this Christmas special here. We got an obesity problem here in the Bronx, and it's serious. Yes, it is. And, and that's why we're here at, at, uh, at Skate Key. But tell us about the obesity problem. How bad is it? Okay, yeah, now uh, obesity in, in our city and throughout the United States is pretty significant. Uh, uh, the studies suggest that up to 70% of the entire United States is overweight with up to 30% obese. So that's a pretty significant s statistics. And we had a previous show on that. And if you can go to my website and you refer back to last month, and then you can click on obesity and it's going to give you statistics with the fast facts. Why is physical education uh, important? And uh, we're going to ask you that question and then I'm going to introduce uh, Wayne, who is, uh, who is the man in the house, okay? So tell us a little bit about uh, when we, ed, physical education. Okay. How is, does it affect uh, obesity? Sure. Well, one way to address our obesity issue is through physical education and fitness. So we're looking for solutions to our problems, and that's why we're here tonight. We're here at the famous Skate Key in the South Bronx, and this is a solution to our problems. Okay. Uh, all the way to my right is uh, Wayne. Wayne Smith, and Wayne Smith is a general manager at Skate Key, and of course, Wayne, you've been here 13 years, and you've seen some wonderful things happen here at Skate Key. Give us a little history on Skate Key. Okay, well, first, it's a pleasure to have you gentlemen joining us here for this holiday show. In your house. Thank you. yes. In our house, yeah. and we're bringing the good Lord in yes. to watch over us also. Uh, Skate Key has been around for over 20 years. I've personally been with uh, Skanky as general manager, pushing 13 years this February, mm -hmm. and we were originally located on White Plains Road up until 1996. Since then, we've been here, so we've been here pushing nine years now. Mm -hmm. Now, something is, is happening downstairs. Tell us a little bit about. Well, as you can hear, I'm sure the music. It's our Christmas we, we have a lot of a lot of things going on. We have birthday parties with over 200 children enjoying themselves as well as general admission, uh, which is open to the public also. So I'd say there's probably a good five, six hundred people in here right now enjoying the holiday and, you know, this atmosphere. In your 13 years, uh, what has Kate Skate Key been to the community? Well, we've always prided ourselves in trying to offer a safe, fun family atmosphere where families and their friends could come in, enjoy themselves. Uh, we have dancing once a week that we offer to the teens, but we're really focused on the skating and a lot of people don't realize it, but back in the 70s, skating was very big. We're one of maybe two or three skating centers around right now and skating is making a comeback and it's happening here in New York, right, as we well, speak. Well, the comeback is important because we have a calorie problem. Uh, Dr. Thomas O'Brien, tell us about this obesity problem and how does skate keep become an opportunity. An answer. An right, answer. an answer to right. a solution to the problem. Yeah. Well, well, let's just define what obesity is. Obesity is excess calories in your body. Uh, so that's from overeating or some sort of uh, pathological problem that's in the body. But let's just address just uh, obesity with no pathological conditions. Uh, we have excess calories, so how do we burn off these excess calories? Well, we must do aerobic activity. And this aerobic activity, a solution, 
would be through roller skating. And that's what we have here. We're here at the Skate Key, and as a testimony, I am here and I roller skate on Sundays, and I have fun. It's a clean, safe, fun environment, and I'm burning off those ex excess calories myself. Mm -hmm. Now, how does this affect our children, this uh, um, obesity and roller skating and the calorie situation? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, we, well, there's uh, several studies out, but two I can quote. We did the federal study as well as the Cal California education study, and it's directly, they, they say that obesity, there's a direct correlation between obesity to lack of educa lack of physical education. Uh, so what they're saying is those students who do not participate in physical activity have a lower self-esteem as well as grade point average in math and reading. So, you know, if you, we do a direct correlation, those theoretically, those students who are physically active have higher grades. They do, they perform much better in education as well as they feel much better about themselves, a better self-esteem. Okay, besides the skate key, how are, any, are there any other uh, uh, avenues addressing this issue of obesity? Well, on a national level, yeah, yes, there are uh, a few associations that address this issue, but on a local level, there's no one that I know of other than the skate key, and that's why we're here today, because we joined together in conjunction to put on the, the best show and offer an alternative to obesity. Right, so Skate Key really has taken a holistic approach. Yes. They've decided that we're not just going to have fun and recreation, but we want to do something about the health of right. our people and to and, and that we be contributing in a better way to the total community. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, this Skate Key has set a precedence in the community by uh, volunteering time. They've also uh, worked and volunteer time and services with uh, the Diabetes Association, the Juvenile Diabetes Association in the past as well as what we're doing. So they're committed to the community and they're offering their services and, and a correction and to help solve obesity through roller skating. Well, they're having a great time downstairs. Uh, and I can tell you, when I came in, I just saw nothing but smiling faces. I saw Dr. Tommy O t-shirts on everybody, <laughs> and uh, also, it, I mean, it would, they're just having a great, folks, all I can tell you is if you haven't been to Skate Key, then this is the thing to do. It's a healthy thing to do, and it's a fun thing to do, and, I, and as a, a, a chairperson of Brown's Clergy Task Force, I highly recommend that you bring the family, bring the whole church over and have a night at Skate Key. Now we're going to take a break at this time and we're going to come back and we're going to give some facts on issues that are important to our health. Fast facts. According to the New York City Department of Health and Hygiene, dated June 2003, titled New York City Vital Signs. Approximately 53% of New York City adults are overweight. This study also suggested that obesity levels are highest in the Bronx at 24%, followed by Brooklyn, 21%, Staten Island, 18%, Queens, 18%, and Manhattan, 13%. One in four adults in Harlem, South Bronx, and East New York are obese. In the journal of American Public Health, dated September 2004, 43% of 3,000 students tested in New York City school systems were diagnosed as being